If you care about Florida's fish, then have your cameras ready. That's the message from state wildlife officials. ABC Action News reporter Chris Trankman reports on a contest to find invasive species that are killing off some of the state's most popular sport fish. They can be as elusive as they are destructive. Florida's long list of invasive fish species is damaging the environment, and the state wants your help to track them down, including fish like the northern snakehead. They're very, very aggressive. Uh, they seem to reproduce extremely quickly, and they grow very, very fast. Fishermen like Don Mason say these outsiders are threatening the sport. Look how fast a snakehead can kill a bass, one of Florida's most popular freshwater game fish. They'll eat just about anything, and uh, I think they're going to knock, knock the uh, bass fishing population way down. It's going to be a, a tough fishery once they, once they get established. Perhaps the most notorious saltwater invader is the lionfish. Its poisonous spines make it difficult to catch and kill, although some have found it makes for good eating. It's just one of 34 invasive species the fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is looking for in both lakes and the sea. And there could be more that haven't been found. So the state is asking you to keep your cell phone camera ready. And if you do see something strange, take a picture and send it to FWC. It's called the Catch, Click, and Submit Contest, and the state is offering cash prizes for people who find the most non-native fish. Would you take a picture and send it to them? Sure. No problem. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Fishermen like Rick Snooks say he'll help out because he doesn't want his favorite fish to disappear. The regular fish don't have anything left to eat. Scientists are banking that most fishermen have phones with cameras, and they can locate where the invader fish are living and reproducing so they can help the real Florida fish before it's too late. In St. Petersburg, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.